What's up, everybody? How you doing today? Uh, I'm Jake coming at you. So 2021, you say welcome 2021. We have a lot of things going on. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is laptops. Zephyrus, Asus is throwing bombs at 2021. They're not playing no games, man. They are throwing up. And we have the Zephyrus G14 and the G15 now. And we see the specs, the specs leaked. Now, actually announced in the CES 2021. It's just, you can't go on YouTube and type in CS21, Asus, Zephyrus, and see all the shenanigans there. It's crazy, man. They're not playing no games, man. But let's talk about the uh, elephant in the room, the Zephyrus G14. So I posted a lot of videos, around 45, 46 videos, on my Playlist channel about the Zephyrus G14. Um, in that regard, people are actually wondering, should I just upgrade from Zephyrus G14 2020 and get the 2021? Uh, and one of my advice don't do it the Zephyr g14 2020 is really it's awesome it's the best laptop i ever used and it's gonna be the best laptop i'm gonna use in 2021 so what they actually did in the 21 version they only switched the cpu and the gpu guys so when it comes to the design when it comes to the thermals it's the same and i'm not sure about the speakers if they're gonna adjust anything there i hope they don't because those speakers are, are the best I ever seen in my life. Okay, they are the best I ever heard in this form fact. So I hope they do not actually uh, play with the speakers at all, at all. Just just leave it there. Don't touch anything. And uh, from my from my from my experience, I'll keep this laptop until twenty twenty two. Or just if you have this laptop, just keep it until twenty twenty two, the next year. So if you want to have something different. Because I don't know, why would you upgrade, maybe increase in performance when it comes to maybe 20, 15%, only 15%, 20%. And it's going to heat out as well, guys. With this form factor, the, the, the Ryzen 49,000 here, 4900, sorry. Uh, it's really hot, you know. And the, 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 with the disabled turbo boost, I'm going to show you the videos about the disabled turbo boost. You're still going to you know, cap it on 60 uh, degrees, 65, sometimes 70 if you go crazy. Uh, with, if, it, if the weather is, is really hot, but the situation, if you're on a cold weather and if you're not using the laptop, it's gonna, go, it's gonna be around 60 maximum. So that's a great number, guys. So just uh, be careful. Also, AMD, they say that their newest CPU, the 5000 series, is gonna be hot. And it's gonna hit 95 degrees. One of the laptops they did a test, and it's all, almost like 95 degrees. And they just like, eh, it's okay, it's okay. It's been designed like that. But the problem is that the cooling should be better. You know, some some manufacturers that don't apply better cooling, it depends, but it's, it's okay if it hits 95 degrees. I don't know, do you believe that it's okay? My, my opinion, no, I can't. When it hits 75, 80, I cannot touch my laptop, man. It's, it's just burning hot. Uh, I cannot imagine what happened inside the laptop, the CPU, it's, it's cooking. And I don't want that in my laptop. I want to use the laptop for longer time, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it, you know, cool. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's the summer. All right, guys, laptop. Let's push it on the, on the side. Let's talk about smartphones. Uh, so I've been reviewing this Motorola G5G, and it's actually pretty much great uh, so far. Um, nothing much going on here. I was surprised with the 5G performance. I thought it's gonna be crazy good, but it. It doesn't, man. It's okay. Sometimes it give me the 4G performance. I don't know why. Sometimes it give me the 5G. But when I actually really in real life testing, when I want to download the video uh, with bandwidth that actually can give you a lot of uh, download speed, maybe around 50 megabytes per second, 50 megabytes per megabytes per second, it doesn't hit that number. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe the chipset, maybe something else with the network. I'm not sure. So I need to test something uh, like brand new, like Snapdragon 888, uh, the newest Snapdragon. Probably I'm going to do that and test it, I guess, with the newer phones. This way I can see if there's a big difference between the 750G from Motorola or the, 7, or, or the Snapdragon uh, 888 or 888, you call it. Um, yeah, that's it. But when it comes to what's coming next, let's talk about what's coming next. Okay, next phone that we are going to see right now is the uh, Samsung. So the Samsung S21 
S20, uh, S21, S21 Ultra is gonna come real soon and obviously you know the prices for Samsung is gonna drop crazy prices. Some people's gonna buy it, some people are gonna wait until they get discount. So for me, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just go to the booth and test it, and give you some videos, you know. Uh, I'm gonna keep my, I still, I'm still using this Realme X2 Pro. It's a video, this is a video of Realme X2 Pro. It's the best phone ever uh, so far. I like it. The speakers great are great. Uh, the uh, the charging is fast. The great the screen is awesome. The weight, the aesthetic, everything is great about this phone. I cannot believe that I love this phone so much over time. It's almost as good as the P twenty Pro that I had used before. You can check out the videos also. Um, but so far, yeah, I'm using this phone. Let's go back to the Samsung. So Samsung is gonna drop these phones with the crazy prices, and they're gonna use their Exynos version. Um, and also they're gonna drop the Snapdragon version. What's interesting that Samsung actually mentioned that they're gonna use the AMD as a GPU. Hmm, very interesting, very, very interesting. So, um, it's very interesting here. We're gonna see what can, what, what's gonna happen with this emulation thing going on. We're gonna see if this can handle a lot of good uh, heavy emulation. So we're gonna wait and see uh, what happened, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm very, very excited to see these new GPUs and new CPUs. We're gonna do some benchmarking as well. And uh, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Uh, Xiaomi just dropped the Mi 11. It's not the Pro, it's not the Ultra. It's just the normal one, the Mi 11. And uh, I just pulled the brakes, you know. I just, I don't want this uh, half-baked, you know, you know, phone. Like, I don't, I just want the best. You know, uh, uh, if I want to get something, for me, uh, obviously, I want to get the best, I want to get the most functional, I want to get the best price, so best price possible. So if you see the prices right now, uh, if you did drop the Ultra, you can see the Ultra is having a lot of good discount right now, if you find it. So you can you can tell that the Xiaomi is going to drop the price later on when they drop the uh, the, uh, the Ultra version or the Pro, because the price is going to be, has to be competitive. But they're waiting. They're waiting for Samsung to drop their uh, Samsung prices, which is crazy. These companies are just competing each other with prices, and we would just we would just fall the victim to buy their phones, whatever. If, you, if it's a Samsung, if it's Xiaomi, they will drop the prices for you. And now they're moving charges, which is a really a sneaky thing. I uh, really don't like about this thing. It's just spam a couple stupid way of doing things. But yeah. Uh, that's it about 21 so far. This is the first uh, beginning. We have a lot of things going on soon. So we are, you just wait guys, it will be, we'll have so great things going on. But hey, the message of the day is this guy. Do not sell this guy. 2020 version, that's G14. If you find it a, a discounted price, go buy it. Go buy the older version. I have 46 videos explaining to you how good is this machine and how can you tune it to be at the best possible for you. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for your subscribers. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, take care, everybody. See you later.